Okay, so we have a mic to get started. Let's start. So how, how we'll run this is, you know, when you when you give the mic to the politicians, they never stop talking. So, there are exceptions to that rule too. So what we'll do is, we'll do a quick introduction, just like a one minute introduction. We'll have each of you run through the introduction. And then we'll do a little uh, you know, panel discussion to talk about different topics. Just to make it engaging so that, you know, make it informative for you in terms of how exactly they arrived here, you know, what exactly they do, they do what's their passion, things like that. So, so let's get started with Savita and then we'll go around. Just a one minute quick introduction of yourself. Hello everyone, welcome to this fabulous event. Thank you, Rishi, and your interns for putting it together. Uh, I'm Savita Vaidyanathan, I'm the mayor of the city of Cupertino. And I also serve as a VTA board member for five West Valley cities of Campbell, Cupertino, Los Gatos, Montessorino, and San uh, So those are my two uh, hats that I wear politically. And personally, I do a lot of things in my community, uh, I'm part of many boards, many commissions, uh, constantly uh, working in the community, volunteering in the community. So I have the V tattooed on my forehead, V for volunteer. And, and a lot of people say if the V falls down, it becomes L, but I never let that happen. <laughs> and I'm very happy to answer any questions that you have today. Which way does it go? Krishi, left or right? Thank you, Raj. Okay, over to Raj. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, good afternoon. My name is Raj Slobon. I'm on the Fremont City Council. Um, I grew up in Fremont, uh, attending our public schools. Um, I got involved in the city government by getting on the Human Relations Commission, and I kind of worked my way up into planning commission, served on several nonprofit boards, and just kept uh, increasing my circle of influence uh, until I became a city council member. I was recently elected in November, and I'm proud to serve. So thanks to all of you for your support and help. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hello. Hello. First, I'd like to thank Rishi Kumar for getting us all here. Let's hear for him. And I also, I feel it's my privilege and honor to be in company of so many uh, leaders here uh, coming from this community, uh, which I think is a great start. As far as I'm concerned, my name is Benin Gupta. And uh, I came to this country about 53 years ago as a poor graduate student. Uh, and uh, I went to Purdue and got my lecture on doing PhD. And then I came to the Bay Area and never left again. And uh, I'm a retired engineer with two kids and four grandkids and living happily. And I thought politicians were all crooks. <laughs> Uh, then, well, I thought, I said the word is part of And I, uh, in 2008, I got the bug because uh, I thought that politicians were not doing a good job in our city of South San Francisco to take care of the people of housing in terms of where they live. So I started bothering our planning commission of the city. And I bothered them so much that they finally elected me to come to become a member of them. So I was in planning commission for three years, and I was chairing that uh, commission for a year or so, when I got uh, into the city council. And last year, I was uh, selected to be the mayor. Now, <coughs> that's all the background, which uh, usually I write in my bio when I send it out for some formal introduction. But really, what I want to say here is that I'm so happy to see so many actively pursuing reform people who are interested in the political future of the Indo-American community. Uh, that's my greatest joy and happiness. And I'm, sure, and I'm so happy that people like Rishi Kumar can organize such activities where we can share and benefit from each other's experiences. So I'm looking forward to the proceedings here, and I'm very happy to answer any questions which I could. But I have a lot of experienced people here on the panel. Now we're looking forward to their answers as well. So my name is Arun Noel, city of Dublin, recently elected in November. 
I'm not a politician. That's what I thought until November. And January, I was told, hey, you're a politician. Um, so I'm actually a campaign that's more of a grassroots you know, type of campaign that is focused on a community-based voice for positive, disruptive political change. So something very different than you're going to find anywhere else. Um, I was a campaign that not, was not seen by many as a positive elected campaign. Um, having read a bond measure within the Alameda County for the transportation infrastructure, I understood something very different, and I'll get into that at a later time for one-on-one, -on -one because I'm going to keep it short and sweet. But essentially, I didn't bring on a campaign measure strategically till the last 30 days of my campaign. And that's where it became very disruptive and very politically friendly to a change of a positive voice for the community. My background's in civil engineering. I've been in transportation. I'm born and brought up here in Hayward. And a lot of the infrastructure that I've been a part of, whether it be in Alameda County, Santa Clara County, or around the nation, including international airports, highways, and facilities, I've been a part of it over 360 billion throughout the United States. I look forward to the positive conversation and helping future leaders develop their career in whatever platform as a positive change. Thank you. That was Arun, and uh, you know, Arun recently posted a Facebook picture profile, and he got some pretty good comments on that. One of it was, "You look like a person." <laughs> <laughs> but you know, fabulous folks here, so thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. And uh, you know, I would like to uh, you know give a shout out to our host here. So that's Praveen Sugala sitting standing behind me. Let's give it up. <laughs> The many many locations of biryani bowl and fabulous food. You know, I've already eaten you know many times. It's a great great food. I would highly recommend all of you, including the interns. Please don't go hungry. So if you like to feed the interns, please get your food and, uh, and enjoy the food. And, and Praveen, I really appreciate you hosting us today. And it takes significant effort. And I know businesses are always you know running a little tight. So I really appreciate you opening up your doors and hosting us like the way you're doing today. And I would like to request each of you, if you enjoy the food today, there is one <coughs> request I would like to ask for you. Please go to Yelp and put in a good, yes. good uh, review yeah. for us. Yeah. That is the least we can do, right? That is the least we can do. Now, we have about 40, 50 people here today. If you get 40, 50 reviews, you know, I think Praveen will be very happy. So once again, a big round of applause for Praveen. So, if you are not active on Yelp, very active, please don't go on Yelp. Uh, we are a proven restaurant for the last eight years. Unfortunately, uh, in the first two weeks, I got more than 75 reviews in, on Yelp. Because of the speed, the way they came in, they filtered 70 of them. So if you are adding first time, just don't, don't go on Yelp. Go on my Google page, Biryani Boat Santa Clara. And also go on Facebook page, Biryani Boat Santa Clara. If you are very good Yelpers, Yes, we need you to participate, pick a couple of pictures and post them right what you can. Only your experience, no <laughs> All right, so let's let's get the panel going, panel discussion going. And the very first question I have is based upon what Pradeep basically mentioned. You know, Pradeep basically thought that all politicians were crooks, right? And you know, when I decided to run for a California Democratic Party delegate in Assembly District 28, so one of my friends actually said, and this was basically a very simple uh, you know, assembly district uh, election, caucus voting is not even on the ballot, right? People show up and they vote, just like you have presidential caucus voting back in Iowa and all these places. It's very similar to that, right? Very simple election that you're running. And one of my friends said, Rishi, why are you running? You want to get shot, right? And that's a true story, right? Lots of true stories to share, to share for you. But really, because politics is kind of complicated sometimes, right? And people have a different image of politics. And, and so my question is to our panel, to get us going, let's get the chatter started. My question would be essentially, let's start with Pradeep because the mic is right there. And because Pradeep actually raised that uh, question too. So my topic is, you know, what made you get into politics? You know, and, and just to understand what were your thought process in terms of why you got it. Well, uh, I thought you were going to ask me, uh, do I still feel that they are crooks? <laughs> Actually, uh, I would like to make that remark before I answer your question, if it's okay with you. After I got into politics, 
at least the people I call politicians who I work with, I have huge respect for those people who are working in the area of city governments, county governments, state governments. Because if they are good in what they do, they will not do those jobs well unless they really felt they were hard in it. None of these jobs makes anyone rich. Most of the time we get rich backs on what we do rather than phases. The hours are long, like Savita pointed out. So there is no motivation to stay in it unless you really feel that you want to do it. Now, coming back to the question that uh, that uh, Rishi asked me, why did I get into the politics? Actually, I did not get into the politics. I was moved into politics, as I said. I went into planning commission because I was an engineer for the last 35 years. And I know there were some things that required a little bit of thinking, like we engineers are trained to do. Uh, generally, uh, city governments have all sorts of backgrounds. But one of those backgrounds missing is engineering background, at least in our city. And I thought many of the discussions I heard in planning commission could be helped by thinking of solutions rather than just working on intuitions. So that's why I got into it. But when I got into the planning commission, I found that I could raise not only these solutions to give problems, but I can raise issues which are good for the society for the future generations. And that's when I got interested in representing the interests of people all around me. So when I ran for my campaign, and that was another story, perhaps you will ask a question later on on how we did the campaign, but it was a tough one because I had no experience. We have a uh, voter, uh, voter population of about 20,000, 67,000 population. And out of those 67,000, we have one third old Italians, one third Hispanics, one third Asians, mostly Japanese and Chinese. And there were about 55 Indian families. So I didn't have any starting point at all. So I had to conquer a lot, and then I'll talk about it later on. Uh, whatever the question comes up. And I'll just make